Welcome back. Over 5 million children in the United States witness domestic violence every year. Take Back the Night is designed to bring awareness to domestic violence. Join me to talk more about this year's event, Amy Carter. So, uh, Amy, this isn't something that a lot of people are unfamiliar with exactly. Um, can you talk about just the importance of it, bringing the awareness and also uh, supporting the services to help to minimize these things in our community? Absolutely. So. October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and so it's really a month where we target educating the community and raising awareness about this really prevalent issue. You know, you mentioned the children that are impacted by domestic violence, but one in every four women and one in every seven men will also be impacted by domestic violence at some point in their life. So we want to make sure that we're talking about that in our community and letting people know that this does happen every day in our community. And we would love to believe that it doesn't, but it really does. And so um, any, everyone, anyone can be a victim and anyone can also be someone that helps a victim so mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we're just raising that awareness and letting people know about what's out there to help them on top of raising awareness this event uh, does it also raise funds for some of the services to to help minimize these things? So the event is sponsored by the Minnehaha County Family Violence Council, and so any funds from the event go to that council. And the council is compri comprised of social service organizations, victim advocates, law enforcement, um, the prosecution office. We come together as a community and people that work within this field, mm -hmm. and that's where the funds go is then to support the event and any, any activities throughout the year. And over the years here, have you, I mean, it, it's, it's a hard statistic to, to see, but have you seen better improvements, worse improvements here in the Sioux Falls sure. community, even just the neighboring community? You know, because our community has grown, so has the need for services and the issue of domestic violence overall. I mean, unfortunately, it hasn't gone away and mm -hmm. it probably has continued. Um, some of the issues we see are increased in the severity of domestic violence as well as the numbers of that. And so, um, there's also more services though and we're also have better laws in place to hold perpetrators accountable so it, there, there's some good things that are happening even though the issue continues to grow there's a lot of progress that has made, been made as well and also the uh, impact of the shelter for family safety that, that they'll have on this as well can you, can you talk about what it is that they do to help um, you get to see the behind the scenes work that they're doing can you kind of give us your insight in terms of how these efforts that we're participating in also help um, contribute in that way. Sure. So the Shelter for Family Safety, we're the only domestic violence shelter in this five county region. And so any victim who is needing safe shelter can utilize our services. And so by making people aware that this is going on, we want people who need help and who are unsafe or looking for some help with a protection order or whatever it might be related to that domestic violence or family violence they're experiencing. We want them to know that, that we're out there and there's other services as well. Um, but we are available 24 seven, you know, for people who to need, reach out need that help. Outside of just this night, are there other opportunities for people to help support, whether volunteer or just donation kind of efforts? Absolutely. You know, they can reach out to the Shelter for Family Safety. We can connect them with other services in the community that might be looking for volunteers or donations, things like that. Um, you know, but really at this point, I would love for people to come out to our event. It's on Thursday night, October 12th at the um, Salisbury Science Center on the campus of USF. And so it's open to the public. It's free. There'll be a speaker, um, survivors. We're going to recognize some survivors who are doing great work in our community, um, food and a candlelight wa walk. So it'll be a great event. Well, Amy, thank you again for your time. Yeah. We'll be right back after this.